What is up everybody, this is your host Superside and welcome back to another video and in this one I thought I'd try something completely different and I'm going to be doing a board game review. Now I'm going to do it from start to finish, so they're going to be games that I have never tried before and so anyway I ordered some from Amazon, I love board games and I thought why not do some videos of them and I'm also just like, you know, do a review and how easy and complex and I'm going to use the, the Spiel des Jahaz to, to, to do it. So for example, I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to open up the box and see what's inside and then I'll rate it on the, the layout for the box, the board and the rules. Now for the design, functionality and workmanship, I'm not sure what that one's about because I, I haven't seen the documentary about cardboard. Uh, yeah, that one there which they talked about the award and them. But anyway, I got these games because I love playing board games, and anyway, I want to try out some new ones. Now, I use the Board Game Geek list of, I like going for the ones that have the, the number of votes, so, the, like, lots of people have played them. I also check for high rankings, and also ones that aren't too expensive, because I can't afford, like, too expensive ones. So, anyway, I am going for these ones here. Now, I'm, I forget what ones I, I got, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be good. Anyway, I'm going to go through, and I'm going to rate and review them, and I'm looking really forward to it. I'm going to just do one this video, and if you guys enjoy the video, well, I can do another one. To, now, to my subs, it might come as a surprise if you're like, what is Superstar doing? But anyway, I'm just doing something I enjoy, and that is board games, and so I'm going to do a board game review. But then, for the rest of you who are watching, because you want to see what the board game is like, Welcome to the video. So I'm going to open it up. Just thought I'd, I'd open it in the in the video because there's I think there should be like maybe four board games in here. Don't want to don't want to cut the the actual board game though. That would be very bad. There we go. Hmm. Cause it yeah. Okay. So oh there we go. Oh there we go. Getting some movement. Ooh. Yikes! It's right there. Okay. Don't want to cut it. There we go. Okay, so, one side down, oh, there we go, and this one, there we go, oh, oh, there we did make a tiny wee mark in it, yikes, okay, um, open this side up, now, I will fast forward some parts of it, like, when I read the rules, I didn't know whether, because I thought I could make it, like, a, a two or three hour video of me learning it from start to scratch, and kind of trying to do, rather than just, like, a ten minute review, so there we go, we got this stuff, I love that stuff. Cool. Okay, there we go. And then that one over there. Okay, so we have just two board games in this one, actually. There we go. Okay, two. I thought there was four. Oh, well. Um, so we got Stratejo, the original. Now, I didn't know. I made a tiny wee mark. Very, very, very tiny. But that's on the plastic outside. But this one looks cool. This one looks cool. Bash that down. So this here is... Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. Hopefully it's like the original original, because of course it does look a bit more remade than the original one. I like getting the original ones. Anyway, that one's going to be fun to play. I will do a video on that one. And then this is the one I'm going to do the video on. Okay, so we open this up. And it is indeed the hare and tortoise. I was going to say the tortoise and the hare, but it's the hare and tortoise. So this one here, Rio Grande, ah, oh, same as Catan. Same, same developers. Okay, so, how much was it? I'll check. Hmm. So, because uh, then there's shipping as well. Okay, so, what is the, the thing? Where is it? That one was twenty two forty six New Zealand dollars. So it's twenty eight twenty two New Zealand dollars. Shipping was... Shipping was... Wow. Oh wait, no, only $14.17. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so yeah. There we go. Now I'm going to be looking at this one here. Here and Tortoise. Now this was the one that won the first award. This is kind of why I wanted it. And it looks so cool on the back, all the carrots. But yeah, this was the one that won the first award. The Spiel Jaharis. Now, I this is like a really board game respected award. And so I wanted to get games that have won this award. So I've actually ordered Azul as well, which is the latest one which won it in 2018. As well as the first one, this one here, which won it in 1979. The year before Rummy Cub won it in 1980. I love Rummy Cub as well. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Open it up, and then we're going to see what it's like inside. I'm really excited. It looks so cool on the back. It, it really does. Okay, open this up. Hmm.
Okay, also, this here, I've got my iPad here to record the audio. And then that's for the video. Okay, so we got this. So, we'll keep that there. We don't really need that right there. Put that down. We don't need the knife anymore. Put that down. Here and the tortoise. So, I nice cardboard box. I love it. The, the front looks like... I don't know. It actually does look kind of modern. But at the same time, it looks like a little bit oldish. Whereas, like, the back looks like this awesome farming game. I do like that. Okay, so... Let's read the description of the back. Uh-oh, you spent too much time eating lettuce and carrot now win and cannot now win the race. But speed alone cannot win the race. Sorry, I'll read that again. Uh-oh, you spent too much time eating lettuce and cannot now win the race. But speed alone cannot win the game. As in the story of the hare and tortoise, a player cannot win as the hare or the tortoise, but must balance the speed and patience of each to win the race. Thus, skill and cleverness are, most, are more important than luck in this race. Of course, luck may help, but you cannot rely on luck to win the game. In 1979, hare and tortoise was chosen as the first Spiel de de Des Chaharis winner. I knew that, that's why I got the scam. Even today, it remains a unique and popular family game. Number of players, 2 to 6. Age, 12 years and up. Length, 45 to 60 minutes. Made in Germany. Contents, 1 board, 6 markers, 1 die, 112 cards, Six game summary cards, one rule booklet, and then at 2000 Azabka Spiel Verg KG All Rights Reserve Rio Grande Games PO Box 45715 Rio Rancho NM 87174. Not suitable for children under three as the small parts may be swallowed. Author David Parlett. Graphics, France, Vowinky, sorry if I get the name wrong, uh, yeah, I'm trying, okay, English translation and editing, J. Tumzelin, Rio Grande Games, okay, let's do this, let's open this up, this looks cool, okay, so, that first open, that initial open, Rolls and Carcassonne. I did know that one won it. Got Carcassonne. And Catan in 1995. Dominion got the prize once. And yeah. Okay. This looks really cool. Okay, so we'll move that away now, the lid, and go down there. Now we'll plop this out. Very nice. Ooh. I hate pushing it down. It's like, oh, I don't want to break it. Okay, there we go. So we got that. We've got the lettuce cards. We've got the carrot cards. These look cool. Okay, so put them like that. These look like nice old fashioned wee counters here. Very cool. Okay, so. Green and blue, where do we put them on? Presumably to start. I like this dice, it's like wooden with gold. I like that, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, there we go, now we'll put them position and race. Hmm, maybe we should read the rules first. Okay, I'm gonna read the rules first, so we'll plop that there, whoosh. Got that there, cool. And then I'll just reset the audio, just in case we don't want to There we go, we don't want to lose the audio. Okay, so, let's, hmm, I think this just showcases a whole heap of the winners. Puerto Rico, I love that game. That's, yeah, one of the ones I ordered as well. That's, the, like, the only one I know that I ordered. 
These are real cool. Anyway, that's just not really relevant for this game. Like, it's, it, I'll read it, but not for this. Okay, here and tortoise. So the rules, there we go. Oh, and also, so the layout for the box, the board, and the rules. Okay, box. I like that box. That was a cool box. Yep, I'm, I'm going to give that 10 out of 10 for the box. The board, uh, very colorful. I like the board. That's 10 out of 10 as well. The rules. Okay, let's, let's have a look at the rules. Okay, here and tortoise. Let's go. Okay, so it's got the, the map. I do love the map, it's so colourful. Okay, um, I, I'll lift the map up. Lift the map up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. That's the cool wee map. I love it. Okay, there we go. Put the map down. Well, the map, the board, that's the one. Okay, let's read the rules. Now, I will speed this up because it might take me an hour to read these. Yeah, okay.
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways
in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light
Okay, folks, so I've had my game, and I think I made a couple of mistakes in it. I did do three player, because with two player, then it would you had to do two tokens, which made it more confusing. But it worked out fine. It was a pretty simple game once you got the hang of it. I think I did do one or two mistakes, but overall it was pretty good. And so it ended up red finished first, green second, and blue third. Now, I'm not sure with the technique, because since I was controlling all three, of course, I used the same strategy in which case it led to me then doing a certain thing so none of them ran out of carrots but then ended, blue ended up with way too many at the end because they left it too long but I think it was like semi strategy how I was playing with the different tokens but potentially there's definitely room for improvement because they did a whole heap of the moving back to the purples at the start but then not at the end so yeah that is the game so in terms of the instructions I as you could see in the video I referenced them a lot I kept looking at them just to make sure and they're pretty clear. I think there's a couple of things they could be a little bit clearer on, but most mostly they're, they're very clear. So probably, probably a nine for the instructions. Okay, and so let's just go through the different things. Game, game concept, originality, very original, 10 out of 10. Playability, 10 out of 10. Game value, 10 out of 10. Rule structure, yeah, uh, composition, yeah, it was, it was well set out. Uh, clearness. There was a couple of things that could have cleared up a little bit, so just, just the, the 9 for that. And then comprehensibility, that was also a 10. Okay, and then the layout, yep, very nice layout. Good box, good board, good rules. Design, it's got a nice design to it. So yeah, that, this is a good game. I, 1979 it came out and won the award, and I can see why. It was indeed very well designed and very fun to play, and I'm sure I'll be playing it lots in the future. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments. Was it a fair review, how I reviewed it, and have you played it before? Did you enjoy it? Does it look like the kind of good game you'd get if you haven't yet got it? Love to hear your thoughts there. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all next time.